Okay, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget. I just wanted to share with you guys real quick um, some of the pockets that I've done and some belly bands using the scraps that are in your uh, leftover pieces. And for this one here, we're just going to do this is a little scrap left over and we know that our papers are averaging about seven and a quarter so we know that's seven and a quarter and we're going to go let's see one okay, so do a half inch on one side should give you it should 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 see if I got it right and then just a tad bit here's seven and a quarter and mark it at seven and a quarter and that'll give you your your page size so half inch and then seven and a quarter and the tag or it's the little belly band is two inches by Two inches by seven, I mean two inches by eight and a half, and you're marking it at half and seven and a quarter, and you're going to take that and apply some tape on the folded score. So this is gonna be kind of a I thought it was gonna be a little bit short, but it's not. Not so much. You have to explain it. It takes a little bit longer than we normally anticipate. So, all right. And I will take my decorative piece of paper, and I'm not. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch on each side. So on this particular one, I will cut it one and three quarters because that way it will leave me one and an eighth inch in each side. One and three quarters by seven. So one and three quarters by seven is what I would cut my decorative piece of paper for this. So I'm going to put it here, decorative one and three quarters by seven is what I would cut it okay for this one and then distress it and then that will go in the center of your book like so the next thing that I did is I have all these little scraps that are left over as well I've cut the edges with my corner chomper this one here is about mm, one two three four five six about three and six eighths by five and three quarters. Again, I will cut my decorative piece. I'm going to write that down so that when I when I sit down, three and a half is my decorative piece by five and a half. So again, my decorative for this one is three and a half. Oops. by five and a half for the decorative the, the, the decorative paper okay so that's that one and then this one again it's another little scrap from the kit I scored it folded it in the center and my decorative for this one it's folded see so this one's five and a half fold once folded but open it's 11 by three and a half so my decorative piece is going to be three and a quarter and I'm going to go by this score line oh, I guess we could go by here uh, three and a quarter by five and a quarter decorative three and a quarter by five and a quarter and you're going to need one two three and four four pieces okay and this one you're going to need two pieces front and back and 
And then we have another one, and that one should be about the same size as that one. Yeah, we're going to go 3 and 1 eighth by 5 and a half. 3 and 1 eighth by 5 and a half. Actually, no. 3 and 3 eighths, wasn't it? Yeah, three and three eighths, sorry. Three and three eighths by five and a half is the decorative times four. Let's see this side, yeah. That one goes there. Then I took again more scraps, made little journaling pockets. This one's four inch by four and a quarter so we're gonna go decorative if my paper is four inch we're gonna go three and three quarters by four inch you're gonna need two pieces because front and back I always do the front and back I don't know thought your eyes cross your T's that's just me then we cut this one here and I am gonna cut this at an angle and we're going to go five and three quarters. I guess you would have to cut this in a in a weird angle. But lengthwise, five and three quarters by three and three eighths longwise. So this is three and three eighths. This is five and three quarters for the decorative. designer paper whatever you want to call it and then you're just going to have to play with it okay so that one's going to go there again here's another one this one's got less of a miter and this one's going to be five and three quarters no five and five five and six quarters five and six eighths by three five and six eight this way is the decorative by three decorative and you just need one because you don't need the other side here's another little belly band and this one is five and a quarter and you're scoring it at half inch and then again at th four and three quarters half inch and then at four and three quarters is where you're scoring and the width is one and seven eighths so we're going to go uh, one and five eighths no Yeah, one and five eighths. Sorry, spaced that out. One and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And this is a decorative, just one piece. And that's going to go like so here. And then you can put something that tags. And then more little tags here. And I cut these at three and a half by four and a half so we're going to go three and a quarter by four and a quarter right and I mitered the corner you need two pieces this one is going to be three and a quarter by four That's your decorative, and you need two pieces and round your corners. Okay. And of course, I added little tabs there. That's good. And then this one is another little pocket that is, all these are scraps, five, and you're going to score it at half inch and then again at four and a half inch. And 
it is three and a half. So your decorative piece, so it's five inch scoring at half inch and at four and a half. Turn it this way, it is three and a half inches. And so I did a little half a moon with my punch. And this decorative is going to be three and three quarters by three quarters. Three and three quarters this way by three quarters this way. And that's their decorative. Your designer paper. Your cute paper. Your cutesy paper. You know. That's going to go over here on this side, just like so. And again, we have another little piece here. And we're going to go five and six eight. Five and six eight by three. And you just need one. So those are those there, right? But you guys are probably wondering, but woman, how do you put this album together? Well, let's find out how we're going to put this album together, right? Okay. So, you have this little piece here that we kind of made a scoring lines on, right? And this one measured five inches and you scored it at two inch. Wait a minute, was this? Yeah, I guess this was the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, because I, I think I told you over here, you could do it because I use a scrap. This one was a little bit smaller than this one. So on this one, I gave you the measurement of scoring it at one and three quarters, scoring it at two, two and a quarter, three, two and a half, and at two and three quarters. So again, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, and two and three quarters. And the width entire of it is four and a half by seven and three quarters. That's what I told you to do. The same thing um, that you're going to do over here. And what you're going to do is you see how all this is nice and clean. Look how pretty that is, right? What you're going to do is you're going to put some of that um, book binding glue that I have. And I use a PVA glue. And it gets really rubbery. Um, I let that sit. And I'm going to let it sit for a bit. And I do about two coats of it. Oh, it kind of clogged up. Doesn't come, the only thing I don't like about this glue is that it doesn't come with um, like a cap. I'm gonna have to get a cap for this. All right, there we go. I say, so I put a little thin layer of this here and try to get it really good in there. And then what we're gonna do is let that dry, do another coat and you'll see it becomes like rubbery. And then you're gonna take it and center it right on that little spine that we did. You want to decorate your stuff before you get to this point, but not with the bulky stuff like the flowers and all the other embellishments. You don't want to put that in here yet. Now make sure you get all those little, I call them little signatures, get them all covered. Nice. Get a nice even cover or coating. Okay, 
let that sit let it become rubbery once it becomes rubbery then you'll put another coat on once you put the other coat on um, you can then attach it to this piece here now this piece you're just putting it directly on the spine and then you're going to put it on the other I think I'm going to do a little bit something different on um, the cover I think we're going to mess with some um, sewing paper like the pattern paper for sewing and some fabric so you'll just have to stay um, glued to my channel to see how I do the cover of this I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it but I think that's what I want to do I want to give it a nice cute little finish there a little bit different um, on it so I'm going to let this dry and we will give it another coat and I will attach it to this and then this will be attached to our little cover that we cut and then um, once we do that I will decide what further we will do so I'll see you in the next video bye